Hello guys, welcome to In 5 Minutes. In this presentation, we will see what actually a multiplexer is, which is generally called as MUX or a data selector. It has got many inputs and single output. Multiplexer or data selector is widely used. It has multiple inputs and one output as I said. It accepts one of the several data inputs and allows only one of them at a time to get through the output depending upon the combination of select lines. Now how this all works we will see. So here is a diagram a basic block diagram for the multiplexer or the symbol for the multiplexer which has got number of inputs and a single output. But how many inputs and how many select lines they are necessary. So there is a small formula through which you can easily calculate that is nothing but number of input lines available should be always greater than or equal to 2 raised to number of select lines. So let us put a small n value for the input lines and 2 raised to m value for the select lines. So if there if I provide the inputs starting from i0, i1 all the way to i of n minus 1 so there will be n minus 1 inputs so this will be my input side I'll get only single output y and the mux is called as n is to 1 mux while select lines are m so I'm starting from 0 so select lines s0 s1 all the way to s of m minus 1 so 0 to m minus 1 there will be m select lines so if I take a value of m is equal to 2 therefore n is equal to 4 and the mux is called as 4 is to 1 mux why because if m is equal to 2 I can easily determine how many maximum number of inputs it can carry so 4 maximum 4 inputs it can carry so it will be 4 input is to 1 output mux so you can call it as input is to output where output is single 4 is to 1 mux generally called but the input is selected on the basis of select lines now how select line works so we will take a short example for two select lines so there will be four inputs but this whole mux to be get activated depending on the combination of select lines how it will select the input and send back to the output to activate all this IC we need a enable chip so for the mux ICs we use a logic low enable pin to activate the IC to activate the integrated package of the multiplexer so this is nothing but a pin which is called as E also called as strobe or enable pin which is used to activate the IC now this bubble indicates that it is a logic low so whenever you supply a logic low means this pin is connected to ground for particular MUX IC then the MUX IC will be activated and depending upon the select line combinations it will select the input and directly transfer it to the output.